33 of the 92 professional football league clubs in England decided to change their managers last season, many under debatable circumstances. Further down the football league pyramid though, sit clubs like Town FC, teams who aren't full-time and require the determination and commitment of part-time local managers. Tom Killick's side play their trade in the Wessex Premier Division, and although they don't have to compete with television coverage and triple-figure annual salaries, a whole set of different pressures await the non-league manager. Clearly, priorities are very different at this level. You know, everyone's got day jobs, so the pressure is much less, I think, on people, and it's much more done for enjoyment. I love it, and I don't, I don't see myself, I don't see myself leaving here. In the neighbouring Sussex County League, there was a manager who experienced pressures of a different nature. Mark Poulton made national headlines when he was manager of Chichester City, when he was sacked via a phone call during the second half of a match. Gary Walker phoned me up and he said, Mark, sorry to tell you, there's been a board meeting tonight. You've been stitched up. AD Girdler's back in as manager. And basically, mate, you're sacked. I don't think people probably quite realise what pressures you are under. His successor at Chichester, AD Girdler, says managers are spurred on by their passion for the sport, a trait that runs through the game at all levels. The thing we have in common is obviously the love of the game. The difference is they've got everything at their disposal in terms of training facilities, they've got the best players in the world. In terms of that, we're, we're miles apart, but the common thing is you're all doing it for the love of the game. These managers are trying to make a living, just as those in the tiers above them but with far more down-to-earth facilities and less world-class talent available, their jobs are, in many ways, much harder. This is Mark Alloway for News Briefing.